Welcome to Viking Pump's Quick Tip Series. This video will guide you through the installation of new packing into a Viking Pump. The featured pumps are pack pumps where the packing is located in the stuffing box area of the pump bracket. Seal kits contain packing and the associated hardware specific to the model being repaired. Always remember that safety is the highest priority. Read and follow the safety warnings in the service manual before any work is started on the pump. Begin with the bearing housing and packing gland removed from the shaft. Remove the old packing located within the stuffing box. Place the packing retainer washer over the shaft and install the new packing. Lubricate the packing rings to aid with assembly. A length of pipe will help to seat each packing ring. Stagger the packing ring joints from one side of the shaft to the other to make sure there is no direct leak path through the packing. Reinstall the packing gland, cat screws, and nuts. Make sure the gland is installed square and the nuts are tightened evenly. Tighten the packing gland until it is snug against the packing. Don't over tighten the cat screws. On start up of the pump, carefully tighten the gland to reduce leakage until the desired leakage rate is obtained. A little leakage during the break-in period is necessary to help lubricate and cool the packing. The maximum recommended adjustment at one time is one eighth turn. If during this period heating occurs, back off on the gland and allow the pump to run until the stuffing box cools. Then begin readjustment. The pump should leak at least a few drops a minute to make sure that the packing is adequately lubricated. For a complete repair, see your technical service manual and be sure to see our full service and repair videos at vikingpump.com.